Hello everyone, I hope that you are well and you are so welcome again with a new lesson which is the comparative, okay? What is comparative? It is la comparaison in French, okay? Mokarana or la comparaison. Nice. We're going to deal with the use and with the form of comparative, okay? So, we use comparatives to compare two things. So, pour, pour faire la comparaison, d'abord, on doit avoir deux choses, deux personnes, deux animaux, etc. So, two, always number two. So, two people, two things, two animals, uh, etc. Okay? So, this is the use of... And sure, when we are talking about so comparative, so we, we, we use adjectives. Okay? We use adjectives and when i say adjectives we have two types okay two types of adjectives so short adjectives and long adjectives okay. from these two uh, types of adjectives we're going to deal with the form okay so let's start as i've said to compare, we we need adjectives, okay? So we use adjectives. And when I'm talking about adjectives, as I've said, we have short adjectives and long adjectives, okay? So the question is, how can I know uh, that it's a short or it's a long adjective? What do I mean with a short or with a long adjective? Nice. So the answer is short adjective. Adjectives, okay, short adjectives means adjectives with one syllable or two syllables okay so you're going to ask what does mean a syllable when you hear one voice des syllabes en français so for example big okay big is one syllable fat one syllable clear uh, hot one syllable and so on and so forth up to two syllables like happy ha P. So here we have two syllables. I have said before that you can smell sout wahed. Okay? Smell sout wahed is one syllable. De voix, so uh, two syllables. Okay? So, and long adjectives start from two syllables or more. Two syllables or more. So pay attention, please, here. There are some adjectives, so we can go from one to two. Syllables is a short adjective, and from two uh, and more is a long is a longer adjective. So here, they share two syllables. So you have some adjectives that can be short and long at the same time. Okay, you know this adjective. Leave can show short adjective long adjectives. Why? Because they have two syllables. Clear. Nice. So please let's move on now to how can I form the comparative? How can I form the comparative of short adjective and the long adjective? So, okay, so let's start with the form of the short adjective. So we have said that one to two syllables is a short adjective. So the form, the general form is adjective plus er plus then. For example, Tom is old older than betty so old is the adjective so we add er plus then and you continue your sentence okay tom is older than betty clear so this is the general rule but sometimes you have spinning rules uh, for example adjective that ends in e les adjectifs qui se terminent avec e Add only R. Les adjectifs qui se terminent avec E, déjà en tout E, alors on doit ajouter que R. Ok? Par exemple, cute. So cute finishes with E. So we add only R. Cute, cuter than. Yes? Let's move on to the, the following one. So adjective with one syllable. I said one or two syllables. Yes? So the adjectives with one syllable end in C, V, C. I've explained already what does mean C, V, C. Consonants, vowel, consonants. Consonant, voyez, consonant. Les adjectives, les endroits, syllabes wahda. Clear? Qui se termine avec C, V, C. Consonant, voyez, consonant. What are we going to do? We double, on double. We double the last consonant, then we add ER. On double la dernière consonant, puis on ajoute ER. Clear? 
For example, hot, hotter, big, bigger. Let's continue here on this board. So the following one, adjectives they end in y. Les adjectifs qui se terminent avec y. Remove it, which means it is the y. You remove the y, you delete it. Then add i e r, which means instead of y we put i. Then we add e r like the other adjectives. For example, happy. Remove the y, so it becomes happier. It becomes happier. So these are three major spelling rules. So the general one is to add er. If the adjective finishes with e, add only r. If the adjective is with one syllable and uh, finishes with the, uh, cvc, we double the last consonant, then we add er. And finally, if it has an y by the end, you remove it and you add uh, i, e, r. So pay attention here. Sometimes you can find that the adjectives are with two syllables, so they are, uh, they can be uh, long and at the same time they can be uh, short adjectives. For example, friendly. So friendly, it's going to be friendlier. So friendlier. So friendlier or more friendly than we. So here we have friendly, friendly. So sorry, two syllables. So here it can be a short adjective and a long adjective. So we move on please to the uh, second type of adjectives, which is long adjective. I said before that two or more syllables, so it gives a long adjective. So the general rule is more plus adjective plus then more plus adjective plus then for example tom is more wealthy wealthy which means rich okay is more wealthy than uh, bob okay richer than bob or is more wealthy than bob okay so the question normally students ask is how can i know that it's a long adjective because here i said that from uh, uh, two, two syllables, it can be a long or it can be a short adjective. So I'd like to say that normally adjectives or long adjectives have suffixes by the end. Ils ont des suffixes. Alors les adjectifs, il y a un cas où des suffixes, c'est donc un adjectif long adjectives. Okay? For example, readable or comfortable. Yes? So able. ING. ING, for example, interesting, uh, exciting, etc. I-V-E, like attractive, like active, for example, O-U-S, like gorgeous, like dangerous, and for like beautiful, okay, and hopeful, and so on and so forth. So when you see these suffixes, know that it's a long adjective, okay? So these are the forms of short adjectives and long adjective. If you, if you have a look on the long adjective, we don't have so many uh, spelling rules. Put more plus the adjective plus then, okay? We add nothing to the adjective. We keep it this, as it is, but before we add more and after we add then, okay? Clear? So please pay attention. So here we have a positive comparative, okay? We compare in a positive way. If we are talking in a negative way, sure, we're not going to use more, but we're going to use less. So have a look here, please. So when you are comparing and you want to compare, for example, Tom here is, here is older than Betty. If you want to give the opposite, we're going to give the opposite of the adjective. Betty is younger than Tom. Par contre, there, uh, I mean, in the long adjective, Instead of saying more, we say less. Plus que, moins que. Clear? Alors, là, on donne le, le contraire de l'adjectif. Ou there, on donne le contraire de more, which is l'adjectif. So, I hope that the comparative is quite clear. There is another type. Let's move on to. So, we have talked about the comparative of short adjectives and of long adjectives. So, we have to know that there is another type of adjectives with the R. Irregular, irregular, which means they don't follow any rule, neither of the short nor of the long adjectives. So we have three major adjectives. They are good, bad, and far. Okay, these are the three major adjectives. So good, to compare with good, we use better. Better than, sure. Bad, it becomes worse than. Far, 
farther than. Okay, so please don't forget then after the adjective in the comparative form. There is always then after a long adjective, after a short adjective, or after an irregular adjective. Okay, so the last thing I would like to talk about is here when I say comparative, so I compare between two things. One is, is bigger, the other is smaller. Okay. Uh, one is uh, interesting, the other is boring. So the comparative here is not equal. So what shall I do if it's a comparative between two things and they are equal? Yeah, la comparaison égale. Yeah. So for, for the equal comparative is used to compare two similar things. So similar, equal is similar. So égal sont uh, similar. Okay, the same. Yes, so he use as plus adjective plus as. So when I say adjective, either it's short, long, or uh, irregular. See the examples, please. So Tom is uh, one meter seventy-five, and Bob also is one meter seventy-five. Now, so let's make a comparison between them. I'm going to say Tom is as. There is always is after the subject to make the comparison. So Tom is as plus adjective tall as Bob. Okay? Well, Bob is as tall as, uh, as, uh, as Tom. Okay, let's see. Leila is intelligent. Sophia is intelligent. So both of them are intelligent. So let's say Leila is as adjective intelligent as Sophia. Leila is as intelligent, which is the adjective, as Sophia. Okay, so here I mean that they are the same, that they are similar, that they are equal. So I hope that the comparative is clear and the equal comparative again is quite clear. Uh, please, if there is any question, you can write it down in your comment. Thank you for your attention. And see you next time, inshallah. Goodbye.